Hey everyone, it's Scott and Lane, and we're coming to you from the site of the largest 4th of July parade west of the Mississippi. West of the Mississippi? I believe that's the case. Stay that's tuned. incredible. Since 1988, I have had one passion only. That is to exceed customer expectations in every facet of the real estate transaction. Our attention to detail and negotiating skills make us the most sought after realtors in our marketplace. Real estate is an industry that's now technologically driven. We at the Sack and Stone team will always be cutting edge. Hey, it's Scott and Lane, and we are coming to you from Pier Plaza in Huntington Beach to talk to you about the 4th of July festivities that are just coming up in a few weeks. Well, let's start with the parade, right? Absolutely. 115th annual 4th of July parade for the city of Huntington Beach. What's the theme? The largest parade west of the Mississippi, and this year's theme is Sweet Land of Liberty. What a great story for America's birthday. Absolutely. The parade starts right about where we are, actually, on Main and PCH, and it'll finish over down Yorktown, and it's actually televised, and so you can take a look at it as far as televised. We're going to have celebrity guests here, and it's going to be a big event, and it's one of the biggest for the city of Huntington Beach. It absolutely is, and I know Lane was born and raised here in Huntington Beach, still lives here. I used to live in Huntington Beach and was fortunate enough to live just a block off the parade route, and I got to tell you, it's a day of excitement, whether you live in Huntington Beach or anywhere in Orange County, try to make it a destination. It's especially fun for families. Lane, tell them how they can get a spot. Absolutely, you can camp out actually on the spot the day before. It's usually the morning before, but I have old memories when I had to be out here at midnight camping out a spot wow. for the parade. But yeah, it's the morning before. We'll have additional information on our uh, blog, as Absolutely. well as any, if you're seeing this on a social media post, we'll have additional information there as well. But that's one of the biggest things for, for the 4th of July, is yeah. that parade. Right. There's other things going on on the 3rd of July. There's other things going on after the parade. Do you know a little bit about a couple of what's going on there? You know what? I'm going to let you talk about that. I know there's a pancake breakfast. I think you know the location for that. Yeah, so there is a pancake breakfast on the 4th of July. It's off it's on 11th Street. So that's actually where I grew up. So it was, again, old memories for me. We're just walking down oh, wow. 11th Street to go to Lake Park for the pancake breakfast. But yeah, they're going to have a hosted pancake breakfast there. Um, there's also going to be a fireworks show. Amazing. And the, it's a great fireworks show right behind us. It's one of the best in the county, if not in the state, for my me memories. Exactly right. So make sure you can make it for 9 p.m. I know a lot of people like to have a lot of fun during the day. Yes. Just make it for the fireworks show. So you're not going to want to miss it. From 9 to 9.30, you can walk down here. You can Uber, ride your bike, whatever, however you want to get down here to get to your spot. 9 to 9.30 for the fireworks show. And just a few little tips. As Lane said, Uber is a great resource to use to get you down here to the fireworks. If you decide to make a night of it or even a couple days of it, this strip now is lined with luxury to medium grade hotels. You could even rent a room probably and have a bird's eye view on your own balcony. And I want to clarify one thing. You don't really have to camp out to see the parade. You can reserve your spot up to however many hours before they're doing this year, but you don't have to stay overnight there. It's such a big deal. I actually have friends and family staying at our place during that week just because they, they're traveling from all over the country, actually. We have some people coming from Texas that are going to be coming in just for the 4th of July parade here in Huntington Beach. As a bonus, uh, a, a couple of the nonprofits are teaming up together here in Huntington Beach, and they're calling the, it's calling the Bash, which is on the 3rd of July, wow. on 5th in PC. Oh, uh, that's new. PCH. Yep. That's, that's, that's going to be awesome. It's going to have prizes, food, games. It's going to be a really great time. And again, everything we're talking about, we're going to have additional information. We can't memorize all of the little details. All we know is that we're going to be yeah. here. We're going to have a lot of fun, and you're going to have the additional information on our, on our blogs. And again, stay tuned on our blog, too, because 4th of July is such a big, great event here in Orange County. We've got news and information on a lot of the celebrations. If you don't want to come to Huntington, there's a lot of other things we're going to be up front and telling you about. Because guess what? We're gonna have all the locations that you can watch fireworks in Orange County, not just Huntington Beach, because Huntington Beach isn't the only city in Orange County that you can watch fireworks. There's Correct. so many great areas and so many great cities in Orange County, and we're gonna have a list of them all on our blog. Absolutely, and the last thing I wanna say is, you know, the 4th of July is a great day of the year, and it's always memorable for me because it's 30 days after my birthday, which was the June 4th, and I gotta thank everybody for all the great birthday shout outs you gave me. So let's all come out for America's birthday. That's why he's so tan, he's a summer baby. Ha <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye. USA, USA, USA. Hey there, in our continuing countdown to 4th of July and the amazing amount of celebrations throughout Orange County, we are coming to you today from the Laguna Hills Community Center and Sports Complex. Exactly right. This is going to be one of the many 4th of July celebrations happening around the county that we're highlighting today. And there's a lot of fun that's going to be happening right here at the Community Center. Absolutely. The event is from 4.30 to 9.30 on the 4th of July. This is centrally located for all of our South County friends and clients. It's going to start with live music, games, face painting. Oh, there's carnival rides. Uh, they're going to have a fireworks show to conclude the evening around 9 o'clock. So there's going to be something for everybody. It's going to be a lot of fun. And 
and there's actually gonna be food and drinks that you can have for purchase. We're also gonna have a link on this post or this website or wherever you're watching this video with additional information on how to get here for parking and the whole nine. The city of Laguna Hills goes all out for this event. They encourage you to bring lawn chairs, make an afternoon and evening of it. So if this is for you, awesome. If not, as Lane says, we're gonna be providing an array of opportunities for you to have the best 4th of July ever. The beautiful part about living in Orange County is there's so much going on that we can all enjoy on the 4th of July and celebrate our independence here for the United States. And guess what? And we're gonna have all that information on the site. We're happy to bring everything our community has to offer to you. Thanks for watching. Calling all 4th of July junkies. Calling all 4th of July junkies. We have something for you on the 3rd of July. Tell us about it, Lane. Okay, it's at El Medina High School at the Fred Kelly Stadium. Scott's actually really familiar with this stadium and it has a lot of history, right? It has a lot of history, absolutely. There's an iconic celebration going on here. The city of Orange really does this right. They create an amazing carnival-like atmosphere at El Medina High School, culminating in the fireworks display at nine o'clock at Fred Kelly Stadium. There's gonna be food booths, a petting zoo, carnival games, and these food booths are like one of a kind because a lot of the restaurants down in the Orange Traffic Circle are going to be having booths, and those are some of the best eateries in Orange County. So it's going to be just a great day, and why are we calling it something for junkies, Lane? Oh, because it's on the 3rd of July from 4 to 9, so you can watch a for, uh, fireworks show towards the end of the evening on the 3rd of July, and you can go find another fireworks show on the 4th of July as well. Absolutely, and a big shout out for the neighboring city of Tustin because they put on an amazing celebration too. For So those of you with clients and friends close by here, you can probably drive within 10 minutes and do two great things on the 3rd and the 4th. So we're gonna have a link on our blog and a link on anywhere you're watching this video for additional information about this particular event and everything else happening in Orange County. So the best thing to do is maybe grab your blanket, watch a nice 4th of July fireworks show on both the 3rd and the 4th of July. So whether you're using a nice comfortable blanket or or a moving blanket that us realtors use here. That was the best we could do for today. <laughs> That's the best that we could do for today. But um, as, as always, hopefully you enjoy a safe 4th of July and in this case, a 3rd of July. Absolutely. Our best wishes to you, our clients and friends for a fantastic holiday. At the Sack and Stone team, our clients are always number one. Get in touch with us with a call, text or email and stay in touch. We're on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. I think that's good enough to be honest. Perfect. Hey everybody, it's Scott and Lane and we're coming to you from a mystery spot that actually is going to be hosting the lot yeah, Sorry. Hey everybody, it's Scott and Lane and we are coming to you from the site of the longest running no. Yo. It's Scott. Hey there, it's Scott and Lane and we are coming to you to talk to that sort of work. 